How are you doing today? Alex here. I want to talk to you now about step five, step five of seven. We're getting really near the end of how to build, how to recruit and find an endless supply of salespeople and to make them profitable. Because at the end of the day, it's you don't want the salespeople, you want the profit that comes from them, the sales and therefore a sales over margin, over cost that comes from them. That's the goal. So step five, we're looking at, we've got the advertising sorted, we've got the trawling, the marketing to get the people coming. So how do you actually process and manage all of these people coming in? And this is where a lot of companies who are not operating in best practice actually get it wrong. What they, they in fact do is they take lots of calls coming in, they write an email to each single person and there's a back and fro and they say can you come on the 3rd of June and they write back and say I can't do the 3rd of June, can you come on the 11th of June and it creates so much admin work that you're not productive and you're not managing a sales team because you're doing all this extra admin time. So it can be very expensive particularly in time to actually do this admin. So you have to get it processed, you have to get it automated, you have to get it efficient, and you have to have it mass processed. Those are the goals that you're looking for. For example, first thing to do is set up a separate email account for recruitment. So use a personal name, still use a personal name, make it your own, that's fine, but slightly different to your main one, and only use it for recruitment. So that tapers it off, and it also enables you to send out um, actually templated email responses to it. You can set up your signature for a templated response on Outlook now, so it needn't be complicated at all to do that, or you could use a more sophisticated template that takes you to um, landing pages with more information and so forth, and a frequently asked question section, all sorts of things you can do to process it. So when the applications come in, they go to that one email account, and when you start collecting them, you send out, on Outlook, you can send out mass emails to the whole emails that are coming in, which apart from the odd spam you've got in there will only be applicants. Now, it may sound a bit radical, but here's what the best practice companies do. We're looking for new entrant trainees, and therefore we're looking for attitude, money hungry, somebody with the goals, enthusiasm, all of these sort of qualities. You can't really find them on the CV. They're not old enough to have a track record. So the CV isn't that important. And quite a lot of the good people write bad CVs. So it's actually not the key thing and it really is a big time burner. So what you do when you're managing multiple applications, you invite them all on one day. Now I suggest that you actually book a hotel venue and take them outside of the office. But if you've got facilities in the office, you can use that as well. But I prefer to use the hotel and make it separate and you mass invite them to that hotel from that one email account. So you're going to have a mass invitation email that goes out in bulk, so it's all processed and you've got standard templated responses, and you've had, as I've said before, you set up information, more than just the advert, do the work, put it up front, so that it stops the questions and email queries coming in and actually gets uh, the process time and the admin time far, far lower. So you're mass processing, you're trying to get people all on the same day and you make it quite clear in your staff that is the only day you're recruiting. It might be another one next month, but that's the only day you're recruiting. If you can't make it, you're not coming and you'll be surprised how many people suddenly can make that day. Yeah, um, we prefer to do things we found on Saturdays is the best day because nobody's got a problem getting off work, but you can do it any day of the week. Um, you can do it in the morning, but we tend to think a bit longer of a day by the time you process people and so forth, but probably half a day or a long half a day, you can do it. On, on the next video, we'll talk about the what to do on those days, but at the moment, we look at getting people to that day and managing the people. Now, if you want three people in your company expect, you know, want at least 10 to come to the day and to get 10 to the day, you've got to have at least 20 people confirm that they're going to come because um, we've done it for years on an average. It's really very rarely around. It's always around 50 percent. Half the people and you almost on your invitation email must ask them to confirm that they're coming and you can use software like Eventbrite to process all of that, uh, but only 50 percent will turn up. So always you know, look for getting double the amount of confirmations you actually want on the day. Um, so gross it up and doing it, yeah? So you've got to process this all up. We, we've changed our processes a lot in success moves. Our admin team, we processed it. 
Um, you know, you need forms ready for the day, disclaimer forms, confidentiality forms, GDPR signed forms that they're all going to behave, which is fairly standard business stuff. And also, if you're booking venues in hotels, you should actually have a register for health and fire and safety type rules of who is actually in the room fairly obviously. So you do need to check, tell the people in the invite letter to bring a form of uh, ID, passport, driving license, whatever. Um, and if somebody's not got a form of ID, don't let them in the room. Um, because people, you know, you'll get um, people, all sorts of people, right, competitors to your company or whatever, right, being to find out what, what's happening with you. So, you know, d don't take it for granted. You've got to know who you're talking to. Um, and in fact, if you put it on your invitation email and even on your website, you'll find that anybody a bit suspect is, is put off coming in the first place. So get your processes right. Um, you know, you've got a good filter people, get them to the venue for the day. We'll talk about how to, what to do on the day and so forth, but you need a process, get it efficient and get a good admin scheme. Great, progress and prosper, get on with that and I'll join you on Step 6 next. Have a nice day.